Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to address you today. I would like to express my full support to the Central America Disaster Risk Management Process and its financial mechanism, the FOSAGIR. There is no doubt that it stands as an exemplary emergency and disaster risk management funding tool. The International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies has had a long and rewarding relationship with separate ENAG. We appreciate its instrumental role in strengthening governmental systems in disaster risk reduction. As a result, we have seen transformation in the way that risk reduction policy is being prioritized through concrete actions. Efforts towards developing a comprehensive policy, integration, prevention, education for communities and establishing a culture of preparedness is highly commendable as is ensuring readiness for disaster response. National Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies have long been providing public education on disaster risks. This initiative has been largely successful in Central America due to our collaboration. I also commend the heads of state's role in Central America, whose leadership has been pivotal in managing disaster risks. Building safety and resilience is a long-term, continuous process that requires ongoing commitment. Allow me to assure you of the Red Cross Red Crescent's commitment as well. Our 189 member societies reach every year over 110 million people worldwide through disaster preparedness and risk reduction programs. Let me please also use this opportunity to reiterate our interest to support states of Central America in the implementation of the San Jose Declaration through the development of a regional instrument to facilitate and regulate international disaster assistance and to support national legal frameworks to this purpose. I wish you a productive and successful meeting and look forward to furthering our collaboration and joint commitment. Thank you very much.